All right, so I'm not going to do that whole sync thing again. <laughs> so we got to get this thing right on the first take here. Get over here. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Pointless SideQuest, and let's play Bulletstorm. This Ooh. is John, and with me um, is, is Nick, as usual, and also joining us is... Hey, it's Dave. Hey. You may remember Dave from our the ill-fated voyage of whatever... Of the, of, oh yeah, the USS Alderaan when we played... Uh, John, I hate to tell this to you, but you're not going to get any online service in this game. Uh, I know. It's fun, funny you should mention that. I I was talking to someone about doing some like online co-op of this game, and they just shut it down like days before we decided <laughs> to do it. Oh, that blows. All right. They, yeah. they found out. <laughs> but yeah, the Bulletstorm is a first-person shooter from uh, People Can Fly, who made a painkiller, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And... Um, and it, like I said, it's a first-person shooter, but it's a bit its a bit outside the usual first-person shooter mold. In a rather interesting way. And and you'll see what I mean in a moment. And then it's a lot like a classic first-person shooter. And it's also... I should mention, this title screen is much more serious and dramatic than the actual game is. I think that that's meant to, like... I think that's a, like a kind of a ja joke, or... No, I think that they meant to do that on purpose. They're trying to, like, lead you to that false sense of security. or thing, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be playing, like, a... Gears of War like, and then okay. you point this in, you're like, haha, you thought that that's what you were playing. That serves you right for buying our game. Uh, here's some goofiness. Enjoy your goofiness. <laughs> Alright. Okay, now Nick, have you played Bulletstorm? Uh, no. I haven't. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> you're in for a You're ride. in for, uh, an, for an experience. <laughs> Alright. Why are they walking down the side of the building like that? Uh, it's explained. It's, yeah. Oh, right. by the way, uh, everybody who's watching this, not safe for work. No. Not well. There's no nudity, but there's some. There, there's some adult language. If adult is the right some term. adult language. Oh. All right. Here we here we go. Now this is in first person at the moment. All right. You seeing this Nick with the inside of the ship and all? Yeah. Now our hero is uh, Steve Bloom. Uh, is none other than Steve Bloom, aka Wolverine and Eliphaz the Inheritor, and a bunch of other gravelly voiced dudes. Man, you really are drunk. Look at your look at your head, just lolling around like that. Drunkenness is an actual game mechanic that, in this game. I should mention that. Is that Yuri Lowenthal? Oh, that guy we're terrorizing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll bet that I'll bet you that is. It may well be. I, I I'm not sure. I don't I don't know if that guy really has a name, so it's kind of hard to look him up. But um. Yeah, here's our tutorial. We're gonna get drunk and shoot at a guy. Yep. And. Fire and miss. <laughs> and kick. That is your standard melee attack. Is uh, Master kick. Master of the debate. Yes. Um, nice thing is, and, and it's uh, a subtle thing that um, comes up that's actually handy about that is because your melee attack is a kick, you can reload and, and melee at the same time. Interesting. Which is, which you can't in most you know games like this, and it's it's kind of a subtle thing, but it actually does can make a big difference. I like the fact that the idle animation is just you taking another drink. Was that the idle, or were you pressing a button? I th I thought it was the idle animation. If you're just like sitting around not doing anything, you're just like, hmm. Interesting. Have another drink. Yeah. That might I, that might just play at that particular moment. That might have been scripted. I'm not okay. sure. But yeah, here's our ship. A good ship. I, I don't know what it is. I'm just going to assume it's called Bullet Storm. On the basis of nothing. But yeah, this is our ship. Basically, we are outlaws on the run from the government of the Confederation. Which I guess rules human space. And... <laughs> what? What? No, I, I, what, he set off a bomb? Outside the ship. Now, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I do feel obliged to point out that 
we that we should not have been able to hear that. It made just before it exploded, considering it was not touching the side of the ship and he wasn't a vacuum. Just That was that is your first warning that this is not rigorously realistic hard sci-fi, I'm afraid. <laughs> And this should give you some sense of the personality of our protagonist here. By the way, um, this guy, uh, th things turning to crap when he touches them, that's probably going to be the running that is, theme yeah. of this entire game. It is, pretty much. It's... It was sort of Spec Ops the line before Spec Ops the line, in a way. <laughs> not, not, in, not, not, in an a not in an accurate way, but... Okay. That's that um Lucky for you, I'm immune to bullets when I drink. Now you got your three crewmates, um Ishii, Rel, and uh Doc Oliver. Hmm. I I can't get you you're gonna see that a few times because my controller's a little iffy and unfortunately the game does not let you turn off the vibration function. Which, which is annoying as hell. Uh, um All right, but yeah, that guy we're talking about—that is, um, that's either Rel or Doc Oliver. They're not exactly richly distinguished characters <laughs> between the two, between the two of them. But yeah, Rel is voiced by uh, Chris Cox. Oh God. Hmm. Who's been in? Well, we got Paint Thinner, or we got Jägermeister. So <laughs> take your pick. All right, that's your slide. You can slide Safe. by the ways too. And the slide, if you hit a guy, it, it like you know, it knocks him flying, like you kicked him. Nice. You know, it looks like fun. If I could do that, I'd just never stop. Never <laughs> stop sliding. Be the nope. Sonic the Hedgehog. Slide for miles. <laughs> that, that's not going to be popping up constantly throughout the whole playthrough. Just in a couple right. of points. Hopefully. But. Well, this is pre-recorded, so I can... I'm going to prophesy and... Attention, everybody. Cast All right. Deck. There is Ishii Sato, our right-hand man. He's following leads on Confederate supply liners. It came out of warp, and it was just there. <laughs> hmm. I'll tell you, get into a little more about Ishii. Try and lay low until... We're not going anywhere. All right. That's this is the first of a series of... Poor decisions that our protagonist will make over the course of the game. Christmas come early, boys. We got us some mass murder. We're going to attack the flagship of the Confederation. Because we're with you, Gray. Serrano hung up. Serrano. Serrano is He's a character in several senses of the word. We won't last fifteen seconds. You lost your nerve, Ishii. I honor my oath to serve you, despite your recklessness. This, I will not die for your revenge, Gray. Our revenge. Our oh, when we bought it, it we bought it. It was our revenge. Arm forward, All right. Get the now here's an odd. There's an odd little turret shooting segment that never is never repeated. And it's kind of a bit out of place, although it's it's kind of fun. Hmm. But all right, and we attack. And we'll find out who Serrano is and why we don't like him in a little bit. I'm gonna play Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> now this is not a cutscene. You control. You actually do get to control this. All right. Is that health or is that the other ship's health? I I'm not sure. It doesn't. I think that's our health. Although I've never died in this segment. I suppose. I guess in theory you could if you don't shoot those turrets. Hmm. But it's not. It's not exactly you know. Super difficult. So, yeah, this is the entire game, so... Awesome. And... Man, this Ooh. reminds me so much of, uh... Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Sonic Adventure? Yeah, there's a segment actually a lot like this in Sonic Adventure. What, a turret shooting? Yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Ooh. You were just... Oh, no, the worst possible... You were fucking this ship up. Yeah, we, oh yeah. They, um, it's gonna be ruining the day it was unprovokedly attacked by me. 
Well, there was a provocation of sorts, you'll see. But we are... We were all dead men anyway. Yeah, you're... Dead. Gray's getting a bit introspective now. <sighs> Never drink and seek revenge. Do this one last thing. No. Just revenge is more of a cocaine kind of <laughs> mood. <laughs> Asian guy died first. He needs... You need stimulants, not depressants. <laughs> oh no. The last one of you with us. And a sudden flood. Actually, sullen swell. Ten fathoms deep. In a rare defiance of that of the of that trope. Remember remember how I, I didn't think Grey could read. <laughs> <laughs> remember how I said not remember how I said Dell Dell and Doc aren't really distinguished all that much? Yeah. They don't get. Let's just say they're not going to get a whole lot of time to differentiate themselves. Sadly. Hmm. Oh. Um. And down we go. Look, well, I don't think the planet is not deserted. Ooh. <laughs> That's gonna smart. And roll credits. Meanwhile, in the past, a few years earlier. It crashed so hard it blew him back into the past. Now this is, uh... I love the view here. This game, this game has some gorgeous backgrounds and, and like, scenery. Ooh, getting... Oh. <laughs> I just wonder, I should mention, any screen tearing you notice, that's not the game's fault. That's the fault of the fact that I'm using a Haupaug HD PBR2 to record, and it's kind of a piece of garbage. How about, uh, disagreeable persons disposal unit? But, yeah, back then, we were Dead Echo, an elite uh, commando assassin squad for the Confederation, taking down various... Now, if anybody's into their comic books, uh, I believe it was Rick Remender who actually wrote the story for Bulletstorm. Huh. Really? Yeah. I do not know who that is. Uh, he's done various um, indie comics over the years, and currently, I believe he's now working for Marvel. Okay. Huh. Now, a um, bit more on our cast. Uh, <coughs> Doc, uh, Doc over there is played by uh, Robin Atkin Downs, who's been in uh, oh. Hulk and the Agents of Smash, uh, Beware the Batman. Oh, he's, oh, he's, uh, he's uh, Miller in uh, Phantom Pain. I, it, I should mention, I'm a method let's player, so I actually was kind of drunk when I recorded this part. <laughs> but, okay, that's not actually why I was kind of drunk, but I, I was kind of drunk. So, if you don't, if I seem a little slow on the uptake, I love this. This is so, this is so pretty. I can't help but think of Cl uh, the Clerks animated series when I see this. <laughs> let me refresh my memory. I don't. <laughs> They're they the the clerks are uh, pretending to walk up the side of a wall with a rope, and uh, after a couple seconds, like a pot falls from out of nowhere. Oh, number, oh. Uh oh, here we go. Okay, we just killed the shit out of that dude. Radical. Bryce Novak. Don't know who that is. Everybody stop! John's gonna murder somebody. Bryce Novak. I'm sure. I'm sure he you know had it coming. I mean, it's not like the, the heroic General Serrano would send us on any sort of questionable missions or anything, so. What the fuck? I told you to rig these to blow, not check your goddamn email. Uh -oh. What are you doing on here? Ish Ishii's a big bejeweled addict, unfortunately. What am I looking at? Every Whoa, can you do that with an animal? <laughs> been killing innocent people. Novak was a reporter. Just finished an article on Serrano's corruption. Uh-oh. Get Serrano on the line. Yep. I mean, there's a typo here and there, but you know, it's mostly. This is. Uh, here's General Serrano. Shut the fuck up. Answer me a question. These people. Have you had us killing innocent civilians? Give him 
credits are not trying to deny it or anything. <laughs> They bought that? Who did we just kill? Novak. <laughs> Held incriminating evidence against you, sloppy shithead. You killed him to cover up what you do. So it all works out. What do we do? You serve proudly at the pleasure of a general of this confederation that you love with such a fervor you would gleefully sacrifice. That is uh, Anthony DeLongas as General Serrano, by the way. And this sums up that sums up his character pretty well here, really. Hey, man, what the fuck? That was a giant group decision you just made for us. <laughs> Why I marry you, I'll never know. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Bell Tower Mercs are showing up. <laughs> Awkward. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. We're going to be fine. Well, well, it's just a little girl. I'm sure we'll never see her again. <laughs> well, that worked. You guys shooting? I can't tell. So who are we killing? <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't know if this is just like the building security or if Serrano's got guys just on call at a moment's notice. I don't want to be a mass murderer. Die, 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 <laughs> die, die, die. Yeah, this is a lot of cops we're willing to kill. <laughs> I'm confused by the morality of this game. I'm a little bit, um... I'm detecting a lot of moral ambiguity here. Oh man, he super is Johnny Gat. Okay, so they weren't cops. Or something. I don't know. Oh, okay, so they weren't caught. Oh, they were a kill team. I was about to say, like, I don't want to be a mass murderer just, like, killing, like, a bunch of <laughs> civil servants. <laughs> and back in the present. Oh, wait, Johnny Gat's not dead? Or not Johnny Gat? Oh, no, he's, he's alive and not exactly well, but... <laughs> 